Hello everybody, it is that time again. It is Friday and here is another episode of Freddy Fridays. Now I do want to point out that there is a fan that is blowing in the background and that's because my room gets so hot I can't even stand the actual heat in this room. So what I usually do, I usually put on the fan and at times I actually open the window and that is just because so that way I can at least have cool air and so that way it's not actually hot in here and it also makes it very comfortable for me to do a video so just in case you wanted to know about the fan in the background there you go but I do want to point out that almost a month ago I actually talked about the Billboard album charts and that I pointed out that there were two Queen albums that were in the top 10. Of course you know that I've already reviewed this particular album. If you have not watched it, check it out. However, there was another album that actually hit the top 10 as well, making it the first time that Queen actually had two actual albums in the top 10. Can you believe that? This review is going to be about the second one that was in the top 10. Sadly, only for about a week. And that is Queen, the Platinum Collection. And this I'm actually going to review today on this episode of Freddy Fridays. Platinum Collection was originally released in 2000 in the UK by Parlophone and released in 2002 by Hollywood Records in the United States. Originally, it was a as seen on TV item in the States, but it did get released into stores afterward. The Platinum Collection is a box set compilation of three Greatest Hits albums that were originally released separately. Greatest Hits 1 was originally released in the UK in 1981 by EMI and it collects the greatest hits of Queen from 1974 to 1980. Greatest Hits 2 was originally released in the UK by Parlophone and it collects the greatest hits of 1981 to 1991. Greatest Hits 3 was released worldwide in 1999. And its greatest hits... Hmm... It's kind of a bit of a mess. Greatest Hits 1 and 2 did get a American release in 1994 in a form of a box set called Greatest Hits 1 and 2. I actually got this back in 1995. Unfortunately, my copy does not include the slipcover and the booklet is in bad shape. The big reason why I collected the Platinum Collection is to get Greatest Hits 3, since it wasn't released at the time of Greatest Hits 1 and 2's release. And the main reason why I got Greatest Hits 3 was for some of the songs. The tracks that I wanted that were on Greatest Hits 3 were Barcelona, Somebody to Love with George Michael, Driven by You, Living on My Own, which I was disappointed with, but that's for another review. The Great Pretender. Another One Bites the Dust with Wyclef John. And No One But You. Even though I like the Platinum Collection, despite Greatest Hits 3 being a mess, there is one problem with the set, and that is with the booklet. They put the booklets to Greatest Hits 1, 2, and 3, all in one book and the problem with the ones that were for greatest hits one and two the pictures of the singles that were included weren't as crisp and clear as they were in past releases of these box sets 
because there was a release called Greatest Hits 1 and 2, which I do have in my collection without the slipcover. That was released back in 94, and the picture quality with that booklet was much more crisp and clear. And I also had a problem with the Greatest Hits 3 portion of the book. It wasn't in the style which was like with Greatest Hits 1 and 2. And I really feel that they should have kept the design with the Greatest Hits 1 and 2 for Greatest Hits 3. And I was really disappointed with how it was done with the Greatest Hits 3 portion of the booklet. However, the biggest positive that I can give... You get Greatest Hits 1, 2, and 3 all in one box set. And if you wanted to get Greatest Hits 1, 2, and 3 without having to get them individually, this set is for you. This set gets a green card. However, if you don't want them all together, you can get them individually if you want to do it that way too. I will be reviewing them individually in the near future. So that way you can hear my opinion about each and every one of them. So that's my review of the Platinum Collection. I will do individual reviews of the Greatest Hits albums in the near future. Just in case you wanted to know. I'm just talking about this particular box set as a whole. Since it did hit the Billboard Top Ten weeks ago. The good news is it's still available and you can pick it up at any store that carries CDs. I picked this up several years ago and I mainly got it because of Greatest Hits 3. Because there is there was one song that I wanted to get and that was No One But You. Thankfully, I have it with this collection. No One But You is also available on the compilation album Queen Rocks. Just in case you, you actually wanted to know if there was another way to get No One But You. There is. Just get Queen Rocks and you're all set. But that's been my episode of Freddy Fridays. And I got a package coming. So expect another Freddy Fridays coming up with that package opening video. And I will do a review on that particular thing as well. So you don't want to miss that. It will be coming up pretty soon once I get any information about the package and I open the package. I just wanted to let you all know that it will be for a Friday Fridays episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out everybody.